What is up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can create a web view in React Native and let's go ahead and reload this app. So as soon as it is done loading, we're going to get a console log that says loaded and it's going to load our web page. All I did is insert Google for this example, but you can also put something more customized such as your YouTube page and as soon as I click on save, you're going to notice we will have a full web view right here. And you can also specify a different height and width. I just wanted to go full screen for this example. As you can see, we can make it small. This is the background, but uh, let's just go ahead and leave it at full screen. So the first thing we want to do in our empty project is go ahead and type in expo install react native web view. And as soon as we've done that, we can go ahead and import it. So we have to go ahead and type in import web view from React Native web view. Now for this example, I'm just going to import the two constants I had earlier. So you can put, of course, whatever URL you want. I just use my own YouTube channel and the default Google homepage. But moving on from there, we're going to go to our styles because we want to edit a few things such as the margin top. So we'll go ahead and type in margin top and that's going to equal 28 or depending on your screen size, this might be different. It's going to give us some more room with the status bar. And just so you can see there's a background, we're going to go ahead and type in hash 222. Now we can go ahead and remove this text over here because we will not be using that. And the first thing we want to do is create a view and it's going to hold a style which is going to hold the width and the height of our web view. So the width, we want to set it to 100% and we will also set the height to 100%, just like that. Then inside the view, we can go ahead and insert a web view. And the first thing we have to define is the source. Which kind of web page do we want to load into it? So we're going to type in Yuri and we want to load our YouTube page. So it's going to just use this URL right here. And also we're going to define an onload function. What happens when the page loads? So here we can go ahead and type in console.log and we're going to insert loaded. And that's actually all you need to create a very basic web view in React Native. Now let's go ahead and click on save. And I always make this mistake, but this should be a colon and not an equal sign. So as you can see right there, we have my YouTube channel loaded once again, and we can also change this to Google. And once it loads, of course, you can use the web view just like a normal web page. We can do FFFF and something will pop up, whatever that is. And you can change these also to pixel ratios. So you can do 300 by 300 and it's going to give you a very small web view just like that. But with that being said, that's actually all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.